Hello and welcome to Module 3 in our three-part series on the 10GX Field Terminated System. In Module 2, we arranged the pairs in the wire guide in preparation for termination in a modular jack, which we'll do here. As usual, here's our preview of the end result of Step 1, where we insert the prepped wire guide into the connector and lock it down. And here's a closer look at the jack itself. It's built like a tank, as you can see. And there's a shielding lug to ensure there's continuous 360 degree contact between the shield and the connector which is the weak point in many shielded systems out there. Here's a closer look at the arrows that appear on both the connector and the wire guide. The arrows help you properly align the wire guide for insertion into the connector. So let's start with step 1, using the arrows to ensure a correct mating. A firm hand squeeze will do the job, but after doing a few, you may want to use channel lock pliers to help you out. Step 2 consists of using a cable tie to maintain the 360 degree contact. The cable tie is inserted into a slot for that purpose on the right hand side. As with all cable tie cutoffs, make sure it's nice and close, with no sharp edge protruding. Let's take a quick look at the patch panel side of the connection. The shielded key connect patch panels are just as robust as the connectors and each is equipped with a ground wire kit for establishing visually verifiable ground continuity between the patch panel and the rack or enclosure. And here's a sneak peek at the coupler used in the pre-terminated version of this system, with back and front RJ45 ports. The pre-terminated harness plugs into the back, and a shielded patch cord in the front can link, for example, to a network interface card in a server, below or above the panel. So on to the last step, which is to mount the connector on the patch panel. It's pretty straightforward. There's a retaining bar on the underside of the connector, which you place against the edge of the port on the patch panel. After that, just tilt into place until it clicks in. As you can see, it's a solid fit, so it's not likely to pop out when you insert a patch cord later.
That's it for the instructions, folks. Believe me when I tell you, it gets easier with practice. I thank you for your patience and wish you much success with all future projects requiring a shielded cabling solution.